Are you looking for the best light gaming mouse? Tech Vibes presents top 5 best light gaming mouse this year. These mouse are handpicked based on the overall design, hardware, customer reviews, and expert reviews. I will show each of the mouse's strengths and weaknesses. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. Okay, so let's get to the video. Our first pick on our list is the SteelSeries Aerox 3 Wireless. SteelSeries has hit a sweet spot with the Aerox 3 Wireless. The honeycomb perforations spread further than most, giving even the tops of your fingers a bit of a breeze, and it features a coarse outer shell for those who need the extra grip. The side buttons are held back by a narrow thumb rest, and the otherwise beautiful RGB trim reveals visible circuitry, which, depending on taste, can cheapen the overall look. Small hands and a claw grip will go a long way here. Large-handed palm grip gamers might find themselves dragging their digits or risking accidental clicks. Even when opting for that slightly slimmer profile, though, the Aerox 3 Wireless managed to provide Bluetooth connectivity on top of its lightning-fast 2.4 GHz mode. Paired with a physical DPI button just above the mouse wheel, RGB lighting, a mammoth 200-plus battery life, with fast charge and USB Type-C, and an included receiver hub and cable, there's a degree of flexibility here that other wireless options in its grade can't match, and it's only 3 grams heavier than the other wireless mouse on this list. Against something like the Logitech G Pro Wireless, which I've been using daily for the better part of a year, both are lightweight gaming mice that require no cord, but the Aerox is a little lighter 66 grams to 80 grams. Its design may be a little dated today and the materials feel a little cheaper, but all the information you could need is front and center and there's more of it to tweak to your liking. Those after left-handed ergonomics will feel more at home with the G Pro Wireless, however. The next pick on our list is Mountain Makalu 67. The Mountain Makalu 67 is a stylish piece of kit. It's also the chunkiest option on this list, making it a great choice for the bigger-handed player looking for a great light gaming mouse. Its large stature and heavily curved body should suit palm grips the best, but claw grip players shouldn't notice any major downsides. Just note that it slopes aggressively on the right side. In our testing, we found it had a deeply satisfying click from the two well-pronounced thumb buttons on the left. They sit relatively high up the body, giving your thumb plenty of space to work with, with molded ridges aiding further comfort. The cable is loose and light enough to whip around no problem, but the long rubber stem pinning it to the chassis might snag on a mousepad with any raised edge, like from a USB hub. It would have been nice to see the breathable perforation stretch to the thumb and finger areas as well, but overall, the Mountain Makalu 67 is a solid choice and one that's far lighter than it looks. It even features handy indentations to make replacing the mouse feet a breeze whenever the time comes. We noted a super low click latency and low lift off distance. That comes along with a CPI that's adjustable by increments of 50, so you can get it just right for your gaming style. Next on our list we have the Razer Viper 8 kHz. Razer slides into the emerging light gaming mouse market this year with the wired Razer Viper 8 kHz. Your hardware letting you down is not an option when money is at stake, so increasing the polling rate of your mouse seems like the latest logical step. A mouse that reports its position to your computer a whopping 8,000 times per second is a little ridiculous, however. Is it really noticeable in-game? I've been using the mouse for around a week, and have seen no improvement over my main gaming mouse, an aging Logitech G402, in Apex Legends or Valorant but it's a reassuring claim to fame that should reduce figurative mouse latency to a frankly ludicrous low. The frighteningly fast focus plus 20 kelvins optical sensor is housed in a solid plastic chassis that's segmented in a cyborg-esque fashion. And it looks smoother than it actually is. Lay your palm over the low-profile body, and you'll have a slightly textured grip and curved mouse buttons to keep you in place. With 5 DPI profiles and 8K polling enabled out of the box, the only real reason to need Razer's own software clogging up your machine is to set a reachable DPI toggle, as it's inconveniently placed underneath. There are no settings to tweak if you don't want to either, it's simply a case of plugging it in and you're good to go. You can install the Chroma software if you care what color the entwined Razer logo that's generally hidden beneath your palm glows, but it isn't necessary to use the mouse. As the only ambidextrous mouse on our list, rubber grips beneath the two buttons on either side will aid thumb grip, but the premium touch does open up the question of long-term durability. The lightness of the Viper 8KHZ, 
and the materials used, made it feel cheaper than it actually was. At least the mouse wheel has a solid click to it, and the buttons do have a positive click to them. The whole package doesn't feel quite as high quality as others, but its ambidextrous design makes it the most well-rounded. The very next pick on our list is the Logitech G Pro X Superlight. Logitech has a long and storied history in the PC peripheral space, so it should come as no surprise to see them enter the light gaming mouse market. By far, the best part of the Logitech G Pro X Superlight is its wireless functionality. Though cords barely add a gram to the equation, the drag and snag potential is there. Outside of theoretical, the Logitech G Pro X Superlight is about as sleek as stylish as gaming mice come. It looks near identical to the G Pro Wireless with the exact same hallmarks of the popular and simplistic gaming mouse. The outer shell is fairly pronounced near the palm, which adds that little extra support compared to sleeker mouse models, and there's the slightest touch of contouring on the primary mouse buttons and beneath where your thumb and pinky sit. All in all, it's a fairly restrained design by modern mouse standards. Devoid of RGB, it wouldn't look out of place in the office meeting room. Its egg-like body is perhaps too smooth to the touch with no real grip to speak of, but at a mere 63 grams, it manages to weigh less than Razer's best lightweight attempt even while packing a 70-plus hour battery, 10 hours more than the G Pro Wireless even with RGB disabled, so battery life has actually improved between the two units. Furthermore between mouse tests I resort back to the near-identical G Pro Wireless and I can attest to its comfort and longevity for over a year now. Beyond the usual wear and tear I'm yet to see any real signs of decay on the plastic, which I'm a little surprised about considering the matte black finish. The side buttons may be a little too small and mushy for some. And there's no CPI switch button on the mouse, that has to be changed in the software or set to one of the two thumb buttons, which must be the first time I've seen one omitted from a gaming mouse in three years. Still, had it not been for the SteelSeries Aerox 3 wireless, this would be the wireless light gaming mouse option to beat. It's just a shame Bluetooth support may have become a casualty of the war on weight, which leaves its connectivity options lacking compared to its wireless rivals. The last pick on our list is the Rawcat Kone Pro. The Rawcat Kone Pro is the wired and slightly lighter version of the Rawcat Kone Pro Air and comes in at less than two-thirds of the price. It's not the lightest, nor is it the swiftest, nor does it have quite the number of easily accessible buttons we'd have liked but it makes up for its downfalls with fantastic ergonomics, battery life, and more. The 2.6 ounces, 75 grams, of weight is helped along greatly by its hollow, aluminium titan frame, and bionic shell. Similar to its wireless counterpart, its design is an interesting take on the honeycomb look. Rather than plastering the chassis with holes, Rockat has quite classily nestled the honeycomb design under the thin plastic of the left and right mouse buttons. Not only does it help to reinforce them, but it looks rad illuminated from beneath, it makes you feel a bit like a Jedi. That feeling extends to the immense battery life of around 137 hours, with RGB and battery saver mode on. That puts it just behind the Logitech G903 Lightspeed's fantastic 140 hours, which was actually measured with the RGB turned off. When it comes to the OWL eye sensor, it may not have the highest DPI out there at 19,000, but accuracy is what we crave and those tests came back close enough to the line that I have no complaints. Pixel skipping and input lag are super minimal, and the 1000Hz polling rate is consistent. And if being tethered to your PC makes you wince, it doesn't translate to awkward cable battles with the Kone Pro. The braided cable is barely noticeable when shifting around on these swift PTFE feet. And it doesn't come across clunky looking, either. It may be plain, but it's alluring in its soft curvature. The almost matte finish, and light scoring along the shallow thumb rest make it a pleasure to handle. That also means its lack of rubber grips isn't an issue. The issue comes mainly in the odd aluminium scroll wheel. There's something about a totally flat and metallic scroll wheel that feels odd to the touch. Also the DPI button is, for some strange reason, on the underside of the mouse, so there can be no quick profile changes mid-battle. In attempting to change the DPI with the scrolling feature, however, it proceeded to buffer and flash for about 20 seconds before it realized what it was supposed to be doing. A testament to the Rawcat Swarm software needing a bit of TLC perhaps. It may not be the lightest mouse, nor has it got the highest DPI, but it's a unique, ergonomic, and all-over quality build that's easily one of the most comfortable and gorgeous mice I've used, not to mention it being consistently accurate. Thanks for watching the video. 
If you find this video helpful please help the channel by giving this video a like, or subscribe the channel and tell us which product caught your eye in the comments below.